Hello, this is going to be a walkthrough tutorial of how to set up an eSIM on Apple iOS 26. Uh, I know it can be a little bit intimidating uh, for some people, especially if you're not tech savvy, but I'm going to show you how easy it actually is. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Simify app and you can see down the bottom here I have my eSIMs. My eSIM is uh, conveniently waiting here for me, ready to install. I'm going to hit install eSIM. And now I will be going through the installation steps. The first thing I'm going to do is how to, like how to install your eSIM. You can see here there are three options to install. There's automatic, manual, and QR code. Uh, always just go automatic if you can. It's the easiest way to do it. We need to have a stable Wi-Fi connection and this needs to be done a few days before you go overseas. So I'm gonna click view installation steps. Now there is instructions here showing you exactly what you need to do for every single uh, thing to set up correctly. I'm not gonna show you all of these for this video because I'm gonna show you doing it myself. I'm gonna hit install eSIM now. This is opening up my Apple settings. I'm gonna hit activate to begin installing my eSIM. I'm gonna hit continue. Cool. Now I'm gonna be using this eSIM abroad. So I'm gonna hit abroad. And it is a data only plan. So I'm gonna select data only and hit continue. Now this one here is asking me whether I want to keep my home SIM card or eSIM, or if I just wanna turn on the, the eSIM and turn off the other one entirely. I personally recommend keeping both on and using your Australian or your home SIM card so that you can receive SMS and this is helpful for one-time passwords and 2FA authentication. So I'm gonna select travel eSIM and current SIM. I'm gonna turn on low data mode. You don't really want background stuff happening and chewing up your data and slowing your speeds down. So hit turn on low data mode. And you can see here that my mobile data is now set to my travel eSIM that I've just installed and my default voice line is set to personal, which is my home SIM. Now we just wanna check a few things really quick. I'm gonna go into mobile data and make sure that data switching is turned off. It is switched off here, which is great. I'm gonna click on my home SIM here, and I'm just gonna make sure that data roaming is turned off. And what this is gonna do is stop it from using data uh, while I'm overseas. And the last thing you need to do is land overseas. And once you land overseas, you will come into this one here. You'll click on the actual eSIM. You'll turn on the line and you'll turn on data roaming, just like that. 